So apparently here's how this works now. James rambles, Spencer has a structured video with one main point, Jeff rambles, and then I have to catch up and cover everything and end up jumping all over the place with lots of small points. So let's get to it! Number one, hug for Jeff. Number two, on grey areas. I am really like grey areas, it's the reason I'm in science, because I like it when there are definite answers and I know that I've got everything right, and I know that science isn't always like this, and that especially when you get, you know, far enough on in science, then things are very much not clear-cut. But, I like black and white. It makes life easy. That said, I often find myself going on trains of thought and having discussions, very often actually, in which there is absolutely no clear-cut answer. Like, discussions about gender or religion or arts and science or pretty much any discussion we've ever had in the Cross 49. And so while I like black and white from a sort of job school standpoint, in my free time, I spend a lot of time swimming in the grey areas, and this is made difficult because I, like Jeff, can see all sides of the story at once. I see both sides of issues all the time. It, I can have them both in my head and see arguments for both sides, and it makes it really difficult to come up with my own opinions, and most of all make decisions because I can see the merits of, you know, both sides of the story. So, I don't really have a solution for that, that's just the way I am. And though not having answers can be very frustrating, like Jeff said, it makes life a lot less boring. One thing that Jeff brought up is the idea of good and evil, and you know, people are not just good and evil. I have to say, I have a lot of trouble with the concept of evil. I find it really, really hard to believe that a person could be rotten to the core, could, you know, have just be pure evil. Like, at the, I cannot express how impossible I find that as a concept. I generally like to believe that all people have some good in them, and I know that that's a, like, it's a horribly naive thought, but there you go, I'm naive, I, I'm an idealist. And I guess on the flip side I do find it hard to believe that a person could be all good, but maybe good and bad are not very appropriate words to use when you're talking about people. But maybe the fact that I have such a hard time with the idea of evil is a, related in some way to how I feel about religion. I'm not gonna get into how I feel about religion, but I'm using this as a smooth segue um, into what we were talking about, science and religion, that thing. People often put science and religion in, in opposing boxes, and while I guess this is appropriate on some level, when you get right into it, it's not. And you guys touched on this, but I really think that people get the same thing out of religion as they do out of science, when it gets to a certain point. Both are seeking to explain the world, both are philosophies for how we interpret what is going on around us. And especially when you get into the quite deep and advanced physics, there is a real religious aspect to it in the questions that it's asking. Of course, I don't really know enough about this to elaborate on it, but I, I think it is sort of an accepted fact. So really they're not so different after all. And as for arts and science, which are the other two things that people often oppose, I think they're not so much opposing as complementary, and I wish people wouldn't oppose them all the time, I wish people wouldn't make us choose all the time. And here again is where Jeff and I are apparently the same person. Because I love science and I'm studying science at university and I do really well in science at school, but if you look at my walls, I really appreciate art. I get something out of art that I don't get out of science. And this, I like art as a way to see into people, as a way to try to understand how they are experiencing life and how they are experiencing the moment that they are trying to represent with their creation. And though I appreciate art a lot, I don't think I would want to be doing art as a profession because I think it would be totally overwhelming to be trying to understand those experiences and understand other people all the time. For me, at least, it's really nice to be doing something with my time that is pretty cut and dried. You look at a cell, the cell has a mitochondria, and a nucleus, and an endoplasmatic reticulum. I love biology in large part for its vocabulary. And these things have been observed, and they're facts. You can't really contest them. So I guess in the end, as with everything, it's good to have a healthy balance of cut and dried and grey area. And I think that if you get too far into one or the other, either you drown in the grey area, or you just become totally closed-minded. So I suppose those are my thoughts for the moment. Please leave challenge suggestions for Jeff because he hates finding challenges and you've got to find something good for him. I mean, if you don't, I think he might do the Macarena, which wouldn't be a bad thing, but he would probably appreciate some other suggestions. And with that, Jeff, I will see you tomorrow.